Mahila. Day one of traveling across the country. Um, we stopped kind of by an exit for Bryce Canyon. That's where we're staying over there, the Spring Hill Suites. And right over there is Holiday Inn Express. And in between is this kind of, you know, grassy area. Some lights on the mountains over there. People living like that. <laughs> what if you live like that, you know? Just up in, up on the mountain like that. So, pretty cool. Um, then some houses right here. Uh, yeah, day one, um, we got pulled over for our windows being too dark and he said roll it up a little bit and um so i did and then like halfway and then he was like he got out his uh his monitor like his his reader thing and it said 14.6 and i asked my dad he said it said 14.9 but I'm I'm pretty sure it said 14.6, and um, and that's and he showed it to us. He's like, yeah, it's supposed to be at 30. You guys are at 14.6, and I'm like, Dad, why did you get these that are like illegal or whatever? And he said that they didn't tell him that they were, you know, at the. It's just a normal, like, auto shop place in Las Vegas that he got it at from is what he's telling me. And I remember when all that went down, like, whatever that was when we first had the car out here. And then, like, it wasn't that big of a deal. But I remember them saying that, like, oh, yeah, legal limit is this and you're at this. Like, you know, and we were below the legal limit is what I remember. And now, for some reason, we're over 15, uh, you know, above legal, like not, you know, not doing, you know, we're 15 above what's legal. So, that's not good. Um, so, I, you know, and I don't remember that being an issue. And it's never, it's never been an issue before in Vegas or anywhere we've gone. This was the first time. And then we took everything out of the glove compartment and I said, throw all this out, you know, and I, I was giving them thing like after thing. And I'm like, let's go through it right now. And then like the, all the out of date stuff that's like registration and certificates or whatever we left in the glove compartment. But I, I said, just throw it all out. I said, just throw it all out. We don't need, we don't need this little booklet on Honda. And plus these like weird pictures of people from Michigan or something or the country and like this weird uh, receipt, you know, paperwork stuff. We don't need any of that bullshit just in the glove compartment. Have what the cop needs. That's it. So, <laughs> you know, I've always thought that, but it's like, you know, then then I did it, you know, with I like I, I got that done with my dad handed him the stuff to go through it i could have gone through it myself but you know it just is the way it is and um yeah so we didn't leave yesterday because i i got mad and everything when we were at that wendy's and then of course my dad found the key today you know at wendy's wendy's had it <laughs> they had the key so <laughs> it was my key and headphones they they didn't have the headphones though um, so that's over and done with. We, we compromised and everything and it was okay. But man, that, that Jake Joan Hall last night, see, I thought that they were going to, um, reverse the fly and do a Donnie Darko. I thought today would have been June 18th. I thought today was going to be June 18th. Um, but you know, we got through it anyway. Um, so yeah, not too bad, not too bad, but did fly though, did fly, you know, um, because it was pretty much a Peter Parker situation, you know, like where you have to live with that sort of thing, and that's not good, you know, and hopefully it's not too bad, but it was pretty bad though, you know, worst I've ever done, worst I've ever done in my whole life probably. 
worse than anything in Irvine or, you know, uh, Lindsey Wilson or any of those places, I bet, you know, worse pretty much ever. So, so, um, you know, it's all that again, like I need to be in therapy and, you know, get my medicine changed. They got that six month out now and I'm thinking I need to be on that the six month, um, you know, because I think the three month in Vega Trenza, um, it's wearing off on everybody. That's what they were telling. They've been telling me that they're like, oh, people are relapsing and like, oh, have you thought about the six month, you know? And I, you know, and I said, no, I just wanted to keep it consistent on the in Vega Trenza, but you know, it might be time to go on the six month. They, they do it nationally. You know, it's on like a cyclical thing where it's like they started everyone off at one month, then it became three months, and now it's six months. And a lot of that got going whenever, uh, you know, I first had all my stuff going on. It's like it, it, co it coalesced, you know, kind of. So, um, come on, bud. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. Let's go back. Come on. He's a good, he's a good boy. He's a good boy. Yeah. He's a good boy. Let you take a look at him if you can see him. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, yeah. You're a good boy. You're a good boy, Jeremy. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Come on. We gotta go back. We gotta go back, bud. So, um, yeah, it's all good. Uh, we're kind of by Bryce Canyon. Uh, you're doing a dumpster. You're doing a dumpster <laughs> right here on the road. Okay. Gravel. Gravel. Good boy, Jeremy. Good boy. Oh, what a good dump. Nice. Very nice. Let's go. Come on. You dropped the load. Got your hot relief. Steam shot. Steam shot. So. <laughs>